Okay guys, I'm going to do a video real fast. Uh, the difference between being a business owner and business owned. <laughs> are you a business owner or are you business owned? This is what I mean. You're a real estate investor, right? You're building your business real hard. You're working 40, 50, 60, 80 hours a week going hard, right? You make 150, 200, 300, or 500,000 a year, million dollars a year, whatever it is, right? So you're up to 60, 50, 60 hours a week, uh, sometimes more. Uh, you got to be careful of that. One of the things, the reason I'm talking about this is this. One of my issues in my own personal life and my own personal business is not so much being willing to hire the work away. It's trust. Trust. What happens is as you build a business, you kind of become a one-man show. And um, I'll be honest with you, I, I got trust issues. You know, I, I've been burned uh, in my life in terms of deals, whether that be a contractor or another real estate investor or a wholesaler. Some of you have probably been down that road. Or somebody that said they were going to do something and they didn't do it it could be a VA it could be somebody you let into your business and the only reason they wanted to be in your business was to take whatever leads were coming in yeah um I'm going to tell you something guys you have to you have to learn to trust people you're, you're at at, there are going to be times when you're going to get hurt. It's life. I'm going to tell you to forgive. And when I'm talking to you, I'm talking to myself as well. Forgive and um, find the people that you're supposed to find to work with you and not against you. And so what I mean by being a business owner and being business owned is when you're business owned in that way, uh, your business essentially becomes your high paying job. Many of you are doing this business to get out of a job. You don't want to do that. Okay. It's business owned. Being a business owner is being in charge of your business. Okay. Hiring away the work that costs nine to ten dollars an hour to a VA. Hiring a phone service to go ahead and take your leads. Okay. Hiring just distributing the business in a way that makes sense to where you can work 15, 20 hours a week. You can work on the creative phase of your business, which is talking to buyers and sellers um, and closing those deals and then take that documentation and give it to your VA. Let it go. And then trust in the process. Obviously, having a training system in place, having a system in place is crucial. And allowing yourself to trust the process when it comes to a system is vital it really is um, get over your trust issues I still have them because I'm finding myself in a unique situation right now where I don't just have a real estate investing business now I have social media <laughs> I I think I said in my last video you know my wife had uh, encouraged me to start a Facebook group 
it's been great. Uh, I love the activity that's going on there. And I'm noticing I'm spending less and less of my time, you know, in the group as well, because I have so many other things that are going on, people that are reaching out to me. Um, you know, I'm look there, there's news stations, you know, emailing me, uh, wanting to talk to me about getting on certain shows and that type of thing. It's just, you know, I, like I said in, in another video, I'm cool with the business. I'm still a little uncomfortable with the attention like that. You know what I mean? Anybody that knows me knows I'm, I'm a little bit of an introvert, a little socially awkward, you know, um, but being a business owner is the position that you want to be in when it comes to real estate investing. Some of you that are working in corporate America, listening to me right now, build your business in a way <clears throat> to where you begin to trust the process, meaning you're going to grow and you're going to make money. Don't let the money make you. It's very easy to get caught up in that. So you got to be careful, you know, to go ahead and just make the money. Don't let it make you. Um, being a business owner versus being business owned. Be careful of that. Because when you become business owned, that's a slippery slope and there's a potential there for if you're in a marriage um, where that becomes a little shaky because you're devoting all your time to that. So I'm going to tell you to include your spouses in your business. Don't exclude them. Include them. Make them a part of your why. Your children, obviously, a part of your why. Okay. The reason I'm having this talk, this, this, you all, many of you are going to come to a point in time in life where there is somebody that's going to be dependent upon you. Right? That can be grandmother, grandfather, a sister, a cousin, um, could be a close associate church member whatever whatever um they're going to need some assistance and they're going to need some resources and the interesting thing about that is this and I'm, i've come to this determination this determination just this past week they're going to need who you are what i mean by that is this it's not just the money man they need your time They need your time. Challenges come up in life. Life happens. Life is it's this roller coaster, man. And at the end of the day, there's going to be somebody that is in your circle that is going to need who you are. And it's not just the money. So many people place emphasis on money. It's 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 I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real with you. Time has more value than money. I'm in my 40s now, and you know, I've lost some cousins that, a cousin and a friend that were younger than myself, that they're no longer here. And the money was of, of importance when they were alive, but they're gone. I'd rather have them back. Time. Time has more value than money. Trust me. Money you can always get back. Time you cannot. And so as you're building your business as an entrepreneur, as a real estate investor, as a business, whatever you're doing. In your business, find a way to factor in this thing called residual income. That's money coming in without time going out. You may be super duper real estate agent and, and I'm hoping you have two or three VAs because if not, you're working 
60, 80 hours a week. Forget that. That's misery. Who cares if you got a million dollars, but you got no time. No time. What? That's not why you build a business, is to have no time. If you work hard, play hard. Trust the process. Learn to hire the work away. Learn to trust. That's my biggest problem, honestly, is trusting. Not only do I have a, an, an investment aspect of the business, now that I have, I have a network that is growing. It's growing like crazy. And I'm like, whoa, I, it's like organic. I'm, I'm like, well, how do I adjust this process? And it's just, it's, it, it comes down to me trusting. Trusting the process. So be a business owner, guys. Don't be business owned. Trust me. You go a long way. Guys, uh, if you're interested, uh, think about joining the Facebook group, House Flipping Family. Lots of support there. A ton of you guys have just reached out to me. You're emailing me. You're, you're contacting me. Some of you, Some of you got my phone number. I'm like, how did you get that? <laughs> Um, but yeah, the link will be in the description. Uh, if you found value in this video, please click the like button. Also subscribe to the channel guys. You know, I don't do editing on my videos. I don't do all the bells and whistles. I, I, just, I just speak from the heart and I just hope it's well received. You know what I mean? Um, one last thing though, I'm getting reached out to by a lot of people who you all are homeless man. understand this it is a temporary situation I don't know how or why you're going through that trial but I'm going to ask you to go through it you can't have a testimony without a test man and there's somebody out there that's in a worse situation than you. And you're listening to me right now. And um, when you are in a home or an apartment, whatever it is, and you're talking on video, I want you to reach out to those people and let them know, hey, you know what? It's a temporary situation. The objective is to make you stronger. And to serve as a testimony to somebody else's life. I'm being honest. This is true. All right. God bless you all. And uh, take care.